Welcome back to my channel. Happy Ash Wednesday. My ashes no longer look like a cross because I just sweat for an hour at dance, so it was kind of running down my face. But I did get my ashes. I did go to a prayer service. It was really cool and fun. This morning, I started Lent, which is 40 days long, if you don't know. That is a Catholic thing. On Ash Wednesday, Good Friday, and all the Fridays of Lent, you're not allowed to eat meat. So I had sushi for the first time for dinner tonight, which was interesting. It was definitely a lot different, but it wasn't terrible. For this Lent season, I gave up all social media, and I'll actually put a video up here showing that I deleted all my social media, and I'm not just faking it. Obviously, I would not lie about that. The only social media that I did keep is YouTube, but I do have restrictions on that. Obviously, I'm not allowed to watch any YouTube videos while I am, like, during Lent. I'm not allowed to watch any YouTube videos, and the only reason that I kept that one is because I use it for school, so we're doing a big presentation right now, and I needed YouTube to upload all of the videos that we had in our presentation and I also obviously still put content out every Friday in English when we're reading a book. I can't focus on reading the book unless I have an audiobook so that's another thing and then I also use it for meditation music before I go to bed to help me sleep. I'm also giving up sugar because my not, not complete sugar but like sweets like soda cookies, cupcakes, cake, anything like that I'm giving up because my mom is giving up those types of things for Lent and I wanted to help her and really encourage her and I feel like she will be able to do it better if I'm also doing it so I'm just trying to help her out with that one. Starting a couple weeks ago I was just going on social media when I didn't feel like doing my homework and that was definitely a negative thing that I needed to quit. I'm doing it personally for myself but also I want to deepen my relationship with God and I feel like if I don't have the distraction of three to five hours of time on my phone I can be reading the Bible and praying and really deepening my relationship with Him which I've been wanting to do for such a long time, I do read the Bible occasionally, but it's not as much as I was when I first started, and I really want to gain back that motivation and really get into that. I actually wrote a list before, like a couple days ago, of my goals for Lent. So, one of the things, obviously, is to gain back motivation to just do my homework and not sit on social media for hours at a time. After I get social media back, I don't want to feel like it's controlling me. I don't want to feel like I have to go on social media because honestly, it's not that important and we don't really need it in our life. I shouldn't feel like I need to check social media every hour of the day. I want to spend more time doing things that were on my New Year's resolution. Like, I, one of the things that I said I wanted to do was read more. So, I'm going to take this time that I have and read books and enhance, in advance my reading skills. Also, playing ukulele, I started a video about my progress with ukulele and it's been probably three weeks since I've played the ukulele because I just have not had time and well that's probably a little bit of an excuse because I probably have had time but I just have been like putting things off that I want to do that's really bad because instead of doing things that I actually enjoy and things that I want to learn and improve on I was going on social media. And I think that this is gonna be a really interesting one for like engaging in conversation because usually at like lunch or like if you're in a situation where there's a lot of people, you'll usually just go on your phone because you think it's awkward. Having face-to-face -face conversations with someone can make people feel uncomfortable. And I really want to use this as a time for me to really get to know people and have real conversations with people like they did 
50 years ago. Today was the first day that I did not have social media and someone asked me like, how did you do? And honestly, the first day has been totally fine. I've been keeping myself busy though. I've had a lot of homework recently. So I was just really pushed to do my homework and not go on social media. And I also spent some time on the bus instead of watching YouTube, I edited some videos. So I think that my productivity will be a lot better. I did notice that when I was on the bus um, and I went into my phone, my thumb just automatically swiped to the area where my social media was. And at first I was like, oh my gosh. Like, that is not good at all. That was luckily the only time that I did that today was early in the morning. But I was like, if I'm doing that and I know that social media is not on my phone, then, like, I'm probably addicted to my social media. And, yeah, that's really, really messed up. Also, just recently I went on a church retreat and we didn't have our phones for three days. So... I mean, it was just three days and I was honestly perfectly fine with it and everything was still the same when I went back on social media. So I don't think it's really going to hit me until I get like further into the process, but I will keep you guys updated. Let me know in the comments down below what you are giving up for Lent. Hey guys, I wanted to catch you guys up it is Sunday, so four days of Lent, and I feel like I'm doing pretty good. As you guys know, I also gave up sugar. My pimples have gone away. I have, like, no pimples on my face right now, which is awesome. Really excited about it, so I might make this change forever and just have, like, days where I can just like eat sugar or something like spe spe some <laughs> special occasions but today was my friend's 15th birthday and they had brownies and I could not eat any and the temptation was real honestly I haven't even been really worried about not having social media I've gotten so much done this weekend and it's honestly I'm not even like reaching for my phone to like look for social media. I'm just like really focused and really getting a lot of work done. But I did realize we went bowling today for my friend's birthday and literally everyone was on their phone like pretty much the whole time. And I've never like realized that because I'm like always on my phone dur doing things. And it really made me think about when I'm with my friends and doing things like that, how I should definitely stay off my phone because that's time that you're spending with your friends. And they weren't doing it the whole time, like I'm not shading them or anything, but I was just like, wow, like we're really attached to our phones. And then another thing, I was like going to like um, videotape my friend bowling. And I was like, oh, this is like a perfect snap I was like, oh wait, I don't have Snapchat anymore. And so I had to record on my <laughs> camera, which I've never done before because I don't like using this camera. That was definitely really, really different and strange. <laughs> but yeah, I've been pretty busy. So I haven't really been like going on my phone that much. That is my update. I will see you next time. What is up guys? It is about a week and a half after <clears throat> it is about a week and a half after Ash Wednesday and I just wanted to update you guys on how I'm doing it's getting harder but that's okay honestly when I first started this video I just wanted to do social media like I just wanted to talk about how I was doing with social media. I wasn't really going to focus on the sugar aspect of it because I'm really just doing it for my mom. Both of them are a huge part of my giving up something and I think that if I talk about both, then it will help me to pull through with it and continue to keep going. Social media has honestly been way easier and way better than I thought it was going to be. A couple times when I was bored, 
I actually like was on my phone and I was like, there's nothing to do. Like, what do I do? I don't feel left out of anything. I don't feel the pressure of posting on social media. Um, I've been taking photos with my actual camera, which is definitely a first. Usually I just snap it and then save it to my memories. With sugar, that's been pretty easy. It's been harder than social media because it's just everywhere. Like my grandparents, all they eat is sugary stuff. Last night at dinner, we went to Olive Tree and it was my grandmother's birthday and she got cake and ice cream and it was very hard for me to watch her eat that with me not being able to eat it because that's like one of my favorite desserts. desserts. And then she also brought cookies to the house and they were the chewy chocolate chip cookies. They've been taunting me for the past couple days. She said that since it's Sunday, that's the day of rest and that's the day that you can take back what you gave away for just a day. She said that's like an old tradition that they used to do and I looked it up and they said that is fine if you do that, just the church doesn't recommend it and it's not the best thing to do. So I decided that I wasn't going to do it because I would feel really guilty doing that, knowing that I gave it up and now like I'm taking it back earlier than Easter. And I feel like I'm on a roll with like my willpower and like gaining everything and I don't just wanna lose all of that. I have been so productive and my motivation has like gone a step up and I'm actually so much happier now. When I had the distraction and my phone and food, it was, I wasn't very happy, honestly. I feel a lot happier now because I feel a closer connection with God and I've been reading more about him and getting to know him better. I've just been spending a lot more time with the people I love, like my mom. Instead of going on my phone tonight, I laid in bed with her and talked with her about her day and I just feel a stronger connection with the people around me and that's something that is very, very important, especially like with my family. Instead of being on my phone whenever, I'm spending time with them and getting to know them more and getting to know how their day was and talking to them about things that actually matter. My mom has actually been doing really well with hers and my dad gave up ice cream and his favorite thing is ice cream. So I'm very shocked that that's what he wanted to give up and he also wanted to go to church every Sunday or every Saturday for Lent and he's been doing that which is awesome. I feel very grateful for everything that I have in my life especially like with him. I feel very influential like I've influenced him to go to church. Woo -woo. Church is amazing honestly if you don't go to church it will change your life. Try to sit as close as possible to the priest because that's how you get the full thing, the full swing, full lecture. And it just makes you feel better. You get the bread of Christ. You get to learn more about Jesus. You get to sing for Jesus. You get to worship and pray and communicate with him. And it's just an amazing experience. So definitely recommend it. And you just feel like a better person too because you're serving God for an hour out of your whole entire week when he serves you for every minute, second in your day. Oh, I also wanted to say, um, I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning of this video, but I had a calling from God that he wanted me to give up social media. I even wanted to do it for like a video separate from Lent because I wasn't going to give up social media at all. And then I decided at the last minute that that's what I wanted to do and that that would be the most effective thing for me. And the reason that he was calling me to do this is one, it was such a big distraction from everything that was important to me. It was taking me away from my relationship with him on YouTube and everywhere around me I just kept getting videos that popped up like going 30 days without a phone, going 30 days without social media. I was very impacted by those videos. I was like I want to do this. 
I like this is so cool and I loved watching those types of videos but I kept pushing it off because I was like well like I have group chats for sports and for school that I'm going to need on like Instagram and stuff and like for Snapchat I'm gonna lose all my streaks and Facebook I won't be able to keep in touch with my family so I kept just making excuses up for not deleting it and then when I decided that I was going to give it up for Lent that's when I was like well I'm doing this for God so duh I'm gonna give up social media like what better reason than to do it for God I think that every year I'm definitely going to give up social media because it's just a good cleanse and it's a good like mental refocus yourself on what matters the most in your life because we get so caught up in social media and things that don't matter when we're on social media we're the most alone that we've ever been because we're interacting with people that are millions of miles away and it's not face to face we don't feel that connection with that person because they're a thousand miles away yes I love social media. It's an amazing thing to keep in contact with each other and to make new friends and stuff. But it's also good to take a break from all of the stress on the internet. Another thing that I have on my phone is games. And in order for me to not go on my games, I set a time limit for 10 minutes for all of my games. So I just go on for 10 minutes and then when the timer runs out, then I just don't go on it anymore until the next day. And so that limits my time that I'm on my phone. My screen time has been down by like two hours. That's pretty much everything I wanted to say. I will update you guys more later in the week. Hello, it is about... I want to say three weeks, and I want to talk to you guys. Sorry, it's late. I'm tired. There's been a lot going on recently. It's been a difficult time in the nation, in communities, everywhere. With everything with the coronavirus right now, with the amount that is being talked about in school and on the news and everything, I just feel like if I had social media, it would literally be everywhere. And it's already annoying as it is. And just like with the media and how they're like twisting everything, it is putting a lot of people in panic. And I would not like to be in that situation. The other day at dance, people were doing this thing where they like did this and like put their fingertips together or whatever and I was like what are they doing and people were like oh that's like something on TikTok that means you're like shy or something and I was like that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen it's just those kind of things that I'm like really people are really doing that and I'm kind of starting to realize like how much people are on their phones sometimes I do feel left out because sometimes people are like talking about stuff and I have no idea what they're talking about but on the other hand like I don't really care and I'm definitely better off without social media because I don't have to constantly worry about things like that. Yeah, honestly, sugar has been way harder. Like, way harder. Even tonight, we had ice cream cake for my Uncle Brian's birthday. And then just throughout the week, they've been... There's so much sweets literally everywhere. And I didn't realize that Oreos were like a dessert. I thought that they were just like a snack, but now that I think about it, and now that my family attack me for accidentally eating an Oreo, I understand why that would be considered like a dessert or a sweet. Um, I probably should have thought about that before I ate it, but the difference is I did not give in to temptations so it wasn't like I was like, oh, I I know that this is sweet and I definitely shouldn't eat it. Like, I just, like, forgot and didn't really think that an Oreo 
would be like in the category of what we gave up for Lent. Unfortunately, we will not be going to church this weekend because of everything with the coronavirus and there's so many old people at church. Obviously, it's really sad. I literally love church so much, but it's really about the community's health at this point and getting everyone better. And also, I've contacted boredom in the last couple days and I wanted to relate this back to social media. Today, since we, this was the last day of school for a while because we are off because of the coronavirus. So in classes today, we were just kind of like sitting around and doing nothing because they couldn't give us additional work other than the like English assignment and little other things that they gave us. And so I was just like chilling and I couldn't really go on my phone because there's nothing to do. I was just kind of sitting there. And then eventually I went on my phone and like played games and stuff. But I did like engage in some conversation with the girls that were sitting at my table. But after a while, there's just like nothing worth talking about that really matters. So you're just kind of like sitting there. I do realize that when I am bored or don't feel like doing something now instead of going on social media I'll just like sit and stare off into nothingness and just think about life that's what I'll do instead of like going on social media I'll just sit and stare at the wall which is great I've also realized that I have been going on the internet a lot to like do research about things that I'm curious about and I never used to do that like I never go on the internet and look up things that I'm interested in when I'm bored or like have free time. But I am learning a lot more by doing that. So that's cool. By the end, I don't really think that I'm going to want social media back. I feel like I'm going to get it back. But I just don't want to go back into the trap of using social media as a distraction and using it all the time. I feel like I am going to have a lot more self-control and self-discipline which will be good and I've also been getting more involved with like games since I can't use social media I've been playing a lot of my singing monsters and trivia crack um, but like I said earlier in the video I do have a time limit for that and that is 10 minutes out of my day that I can be on that I will update you guys in a couple days days and let you know how it's going. It is the next day and I forgot that I wanted to talk to you guys about something else that I have been doing now. That is that I've been reading a lot and if you watched my New Year's resolution video that was one of my goals for the year was to just read more and so I finished the Miracles from Heaven book and now I'm reading Heaven is for Real and pretty much whenever I have like free time or whatever, like today we went to the bank to set me up an account while I was waiting, I was reading and a lot, it's really different. And especially with the books that I picked since they're all like Christian books, People ask a lot of questions about them, like, oh, is that, like, a good book? Like, what is it about and stuff? And it's it's interesting to me because when I'm reading, like, a regular book, people don't have questions about it. But when it's, like, a book about heaven or, like, Christians or whatever, people are all, like, very, like, oh, like, what is that about? So I thought that that was really cool. That obviously leads me to the conversation about God and things like that. I haven't been reading the Bible much because the Bible is really hard to carry around places and that book I just sorry I'm looking down because it's on the floor right now um, but I just keep my reading material in my book bag and that way even though it's not exactly the Bible I'm still learning about God and since we're home for the next two weeks I will definitely be diving in to the Bible a lot more and I also want to journal with the Bible because I feel like that's a good way of like retaining the information that you're learning and also another tip is to share what you learned with someone else so that it's also it's benefiting you because you're talking about it and you're recalling what you read but you're also sharing that information with someone else 
So typically I either do this with my boyfriend or with my parents and we often get into really long discussions about that verse or a chapter and it becomes a really good conversation topic. That is all I wanted to say and I will see you guys next time. It is a couple days after and I just want to tell you guys that it's becoming real. I have three and a half more weeks left of Lent and it's getting a lot harder. Just because, not because like I feel like I need to go on social media, but I miss like communicating with people through Instagram and stuff and I miss seeing what everyone's up to. I feel like I'm so behind on like everything. Yesterday I had to go on YouTube because of a school project. While I was on there, like on my recommended, just because that's what you see when you go into the app, the first thing it was was Savannah and Cole and like their baby name. And I was like, I'm missing out. Not, not like I'm missing out on anything, but like I feel like I don't know anything that's going on. But honestly, this is kind of how an old person feels. Like, they don't have social media and they don't really know what's going on on, like, the social level or, like, with social networkers or anything like that. So it's definitely a big change. And I definitely can wait, like, three and a half more weeks. Like, whatever, it's fine. But I am going to be happy when I am able to get it back because I just feel like that's such a big part of our lives now, like, as teenagers and it's hard to just completely take that away. The only thing that I wish I can do more, which I am going to start doing that now that we have two weeks off of school and limited amount of work to do, I do want to start reading the Bible more. I've been reading a lot more books, but I do want to spend some time to read the Bible too, because that's a huge part of your relationship with God. It's just hard but that's okay. It's supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be easy. That's why you give up something that you frequently do. That's kind of just like what I was thinking of this morning. Just because I was in my bed and I was like, I don't want to do anything else but play on my phone right now. So instead of going on social media, because I couldn't, I edited videos. So I mean, that's a plus. I got to edit some of my videos this morning, which was fun. I have a lot of videos that are like halfway done and not fully done. I've been behind on my uploading schedule. There's a lot been going on lately, but it's okay because we're getting back on it and now I have more time so I can edit and get with it again. With that being said, I will see you next time I have another update. There are 17 days until Easter, so I wanted to update you guys. I know I've been updating you a lot lately, but I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the things that I've been doing um, while we are, one, off school until April 24th, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Community health. I have been reading the Bible every single day now, which, oh my gosh, I feel so much better. It took me a while to just like dive into it and get into it. Now I'm reading three to four chapters of the Bible a day, which is awesome. I'm going to continue to do that. And I've been journaling too. I have also been really up to date with my YouTube channel. I've been editing a lot and making videos and that's been really fun. I haven't like made a video in such a long time because I have just been so busy and there are other things that have been priorities so I'm really happy to get back into that. This whole like off school thing has really helped me like get back into the swing of a lot of things um, but now we do have online schooling which is fine. I've been taking a lot of walks lately. We went to this long trail that's around our house and we walked through that and that was really fun and I just got to hang out with my grandparents and stuff and I've been playing the ukulele a lot too like a lot and I love it so much and I've learned so much in the last couple weeks and I don't know if I mentioned this but I read The Silent Patient the, un the other day it's about this girl that kills her husband and she never speaks again. Definitely a great book, 100% recommended. I read it in two days. 
and it was 400 and something pages. And I've never read a book, a book that fast. I was like, what? It's a pretty easy read um, and the text is really big, so that's good. So that's kind of what I've been up to, the things I've been doing. See you guys later. Easter is in nine days and I just wanted to up to you I wanted to update you guys on how it's going. I haven't updated you guys in a while, so I wanted to catch you up. I have a list of things on my computer that I wanted to talk about so that I don't forget anything and just kind of wrap everything up that I have on my mind. One, I keep getting emails from Instagram about people messaging me and people's posts and come on Jessica, come back to Instagram, we miss you, things like that. So I eventually had to unsubscribe from this because one, it was tempting to go back on Instagram. Obviously I wasn't going to do that, but I was like, why are these people messaging me? Like, what do they have to say? What if it's important? Because some of the people were like people that I don't normally talk to. It was also really annoying because I was like, I don't want to see this, I literally, I don't need this right now. For Pinterest, that's usually where I get my workouts from. And so I had to create my own workouts and go online and like research or like look up specific workouts. And that was a lot different because usually I just have it right on Pinterest and I don't have to do anything. My screen time is up again because I'm just on my phone, I'm just using it for more productive things. And I never realized how much I actually need my phone like during the day because there's so many things with school and a bunch of stuff that I actually need my phone for and without that it would be very very difficult. And at the beginning of my video I said that since going off of sugar my pimples got a lot better but I don't know if you guys have noticed but I still have them all over the place and it's been like this for about like the past month and that probably means that it's not really sugar. Sugar might have something to do with it. It's also hormones and there's so many things that play into why you get pimples and things like that. It's just shocking to me because at first my skin was really clear and then now it's like Hey, we're back. And another weird thing is now I have to send pictures to my friends through iMessage when like regularly I would just send like a Snapchat or something. And then trying to get thumbnails for my one video, which was the no poo method. I had to like take a bunch of pictures for the thumbnail. That was very difficult because I don't like using this specific camera to take selfies because it flips them and then I look terrible. So it took me a while to get the tricks on how to make them look good. And that was just very annoying because I hate using that camera for pictures and selfies. Once I do get social media back, I'm going to set 30 minute timers. So for social networking, I'm going to have a 30 minute time limit and then a 30 minute time limit on games and things like that, just so that I'm not on them for very long because I don't want to waste away my day doing things that are less important than reading the Bible or spending time with my family or something like that. After dinner, we actually get into really deep conversations, my parents and I, and it's honestly really nice because we used to do that all the time when I was little, just sit there and like not be in a rush to leave or go do something. And then at night we also sit on the couch and we just chill and talk and watch TV together. And that's also really a nice thing that we used to do that is coming back and is a new thing that we have been doing. Next year, like I said, I do want to do social media again because it was such a good cleanse. And I feel like everyone needs to do this every single year because we just need time away from all of that distraction. I feel like last year, since I had such like a big distraction, I really was unhappy during March. Like every single year during like February, March, like towards the end of winter, I get really, really sad. And it, I guess it kind of like runs in our family because, or it's just like winter depression pretty much. This year I did not have that, which is incredible and 
I definitely want to, I feel like it does have something to do with social media because you completely lose motivation and last year I had no motivation to do anything and I was grumpy and grouchy to people all the time and it just, I wasn't myself for a while. If I do sugar again for next year, I am going to have like a specific list of things that I am giving away because this year it has just been really hard because sweets is such a broad category and it's like, it's hard to tell the difference. Like what is a sweet, what is not? I'm spending a lot of my time being like, oh, can I eat this? While I have been home and doing dishes and laundry and things like that, I have been watching a podcast called um, As For Me In My House and it's by Jordan and Melina. I will leave that in the description or whatever or you can like look it up for yourself. Um, it's a really great Christian podcast and they give a lot of wisdom on different topics and if you are a Christian or a doubter or anyone, you should definitely check out their podcast. So I listened to one about social media and how to not get into the trap of social media and it talked about how when we're on social media, we should be seeing more things that are happy and about God and things that encourage us to do better and things like that. And I was thinking about it and I was like, there have been so many times when I've gone on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever and I've seen something and I've been like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. I was thinking about it and I was like, why do I follow people that looking at their posts makes me upset? If I see a video of people like smoking weed or something, I'm like, ew, like why would anyone ever do that? So it's things like that, like, I don't need that in my life, so why am I following people like that? And they were talking about how like there's a lot of inappropriate things on Instagram, even if you don't want to see it, it just like pops up in your feed or like on an ad or in the browser page. When I go back on social media, I'm going to be unfollowing the accounts that make me unhappy and I'm just going to do like a cleanse of the people that I don't like their feed. Not that I don't like their feed, but that it impacts me in a way that I don't want it to. And I'm going to follow more um, Christian pages and encouraging Instagram pages with like good quotes and things like that. And another thing that I have noticed is that I've been overthinking a lot. I have way too much time to think about things. So often like at night when there's not really much to do for the day, I'll just sit and overthink and think about things and then I'll get really, really upset. It's because I have enough time to think about those things and then it's just like a whirlwind of emotions and things that I'm thinking. If you're a girl, like I said, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's just a bad emotional roller coaster that I don't think anyone wants to go on. It's just very overwhelming because I can't just like go on Instagram to distract myself. So that has been a little bit difficult and I have not been able to communicate my feelings to anyone. And that has also been really difficult. So I've just been like holding everything in. And I have been journaling, which has helped a little bit. And I've been praying a lot. If like I don't know what to do about something, then I'll pray about it and listen to podcasts and get like wisdom on the subject that I'm thinking about. But it has been a difficult time. And I think that it also has to do with like quarantine and being alone and... Not, you're not in the right mindset when you are stuck in your house for three weeks at a time. Last thing that I wanted to talk about was that because of all this quarantine, my mom and I cleaned out the pantry and vacuumed the basement and did all these good things. And while we were vacuum, not vacuuming, while we were cleaning out the pantry, we found all of this cake mix and all this brownie mix and stuff. And I was like, Ugh, oh my gosh, I want to make that so bad. So on Easter, we are making all of those cakes and we are going to enjoy them. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Since we can't go to church on Easter and we can't do anything, which is really, really sad, we're going to spend the day with the Lord eating our cake. That is all I have for you guys. I will see you when I have the next update for you guys.
now that I don't have YouTube and I'm not able to see what the trends are and what people like, I'm not able to produce my content the way that I want to because I don't know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys do want to see because I have a lot of ideas. Anything will be really fun. I want to like try new things and expand my horizons. I feel like most of my subscribers like fashion and clothing. Most of my beauty videos or like trying on everything in my closet, trying on all my dance costumes, wearing nice clothes for a week, things like that. That usually is what you guys like the most. Today is Palm Sunday, which means that I only have seven days. And not like I'm like counting down or anything. I don't want you guys to think that I'm like, oh, we have six days left. We have five days left. Can't wait. It's just like it's coming so quickly that it's hard to not be like, wow, Easter is already here. That is very, very exciting. That's the day that Jesus resurrected. I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, tomorrow is Good Friday and I wanted to tell you a little story about my parents that occurred today that I think is absolutely hilarious. As you guys know, Easter is in three days, a little less than that, like two days. My mom gave away sweets, I gave away sweets, and my dad gave up ice cream. So we've pretty much been struggling through this whole time because ice cream is literally my dad's favorite thing and he's been talking about it for the whole 40 days. Today, he went to the grocery store and usually when he goes to the grocery store, all of the ice cream is gone anyway because everyone in quarantine seems to be loving ice cream nowadays so they just buy everything. And so today, he actually found some ice cream so he brought three half gallons of ice cream and brought it home he brought one cookies and cream and two mint chocolate chip and we will be eating those on sunday not the whole thing obviously but we will be eating ice cream and the funny thing is my mom also went to the grocery store and when she came home she had two half gallons mint chocolate chip and some weird like ice cream that we've never tried before so we have five half gallons two and a half gallons if you do the math of ice cream that we are going to be eating and then we have all the cake mix that's in the pantry that we're gonna make so we're gonna get fat pretty much but i'm excited sweets here we come happy easter everyone i hope Everyone is having a wonderful day and I hope that you are all spending time with your family and watch the online mass services that they have. A little outfit of the day, got my makeup on, got these blue earrings, cross necklace of course. I have this long flowery dress, I did my nails, a new color, not the orange color that you guys have seen, and then... I have this cardigan. It's like an off the shoulder, but I was cold, so I put a cardigan on. I did re-download social media this morning, and the only social media that I've been on is Instagram and Snapchat, and it was really nice to go on Snapchat and like see all my friends again and say like hi and stuff, and they were all like excited that I was back on, which made me feel really good, and that makes me happy. And I feel like it's going to be a lot better because now I can actually communicate with them. Apparently there was a trend going around where you like put something on your story. So I had a bunch of, this person mentioned you in your story. So I had a lot of those. I have no idea what they are, but that's okay. I'm in a really good mood today. I went to mass and I had breakfast with my family and I got to talk to some of my friends that was really nice and I had a cookie I actually had two cookies for breakfast which was delicious and then my mom got me an Easter basket and that had a bunch of candy in it I'm going to be sick by the end of the day but it's fine I'm not going to eat a lot of candy though I'm going to have restrictions on myself especially with social media when I went back on just as I thought nothing had changed actually that's not true my friend got a puppy that I did not know about but 
it's adorable. Thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. It was really, really fun and a great learning experience for me. And I feel like I grew a lot during this time. I reconnected with people during this time that I was having issues with a while ago. And I feel like I'm in a really good place right now. And I want to continue that throughout the time that we are in quarantine and the time of my life. I don't want to have any problems with anyone and I really just want to live my life the way I want to and I want to take more risks and do more things that will hopefully change my life for the better. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.